And this week, we are looking at snow gadgets. Mr Bradbury, you can go first. OK, Rip Curl's third eye goggle camera. Look at the monitor behind me. Who am I looking at? <gasps> me. Susie. Hello. Pan over to John. Show the camera team in the studio. Hey, the excessive luxury in which we film. Check it out. <laughs> isn't this the coolest thing ever? That's a really good quality as well. So isn't it? obviously I don't need to explain it. It's, it's a it's a goggle mounted uh, camera. It's very very small, but it's very rugged. It's got a uh, a twin polycarbonate lens on it. The reason for that is that because this thing is often going to be used in very low temperatures, the twin lens avoids fogging. Which is right. genius, isn't it? Really what, do, great. What, what do you connect it to though? Um, well, it depends what you want to what you want to carry, and I guess how big your budget is. But you know the cameras that we're testing today, yeah. they would be ideal, really light. Uh, you just whack one of the leads that comes out the back of this yep. into that camera. You need a couple of batteries in a small pouch, which is around here somewhere, to power the camera. OK, so you whack that in your big snowboarding jacket. I mean, in a way, a snowboarding outfit is the ideal kit to wear with something like this because you can just store everything else away. You, yep. you press the record, you do your big run, all your jumps, and it's recorded from the border's eye view. And, and if you imagine you're going down a slope, it's just kind of cool, isn't it? You know what I mean? Do you want to go next? Yes, I've got a backpack that could save your life if you get caught in an avalanche. Because 80% of avalanche fatalities are due to suffocation. Wow. Uh, the thing is, you get caught in your air pocket in the snow and you rapidly exhaust that air that surrounds you. But what you need is a lung, and I have an avalung in this bag. You put this in your mouth. <laughs> which I won't keep it in there. But you breathe in and air comes in through a a sort of entry here, and then when you breathe out, it gets expelled through the exhaust there, which goes to a different part of the snowpack, so you don't contaminate the air that surrounds you. Mm. And a load of valves mounted in here sort of sort out whether you're breathing in or breathing out. They reckon this will uh, increase your chances of survival by two or three hours, say, and that would get him just enough time for people to come and rescue you. Now, mine aren't quite as serious as John's. These are the O'Neill Fat Controller Gloves for cool. boarding, listening to your iPod. Now, I know on the show before we've had technical clothing that you can listen to your iPod, but check this out. These little babies are wireless, mm. and they work by using radio frequencies. So, look, you've got this little joystick here. Can, can I just get a close up of yeah, your Yeah, 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 of course. Can I just zoom in on your nipple? Me. That's what it's can. cool, isn't it? Just there. It's called a joystick, Sorry. not a nipple. Yeah. And you can skip tracks or you can just increase or decrease the volume. Yeah. All this without touching your iPod. It works via radio frequency, so you've got a transmitter here in the cuff of the glove. Then that connects to a receiver that you plug into your iPod, which is in your jacket. Really? Wow. It's a fantastic great, idea. Simple idea. Really good idea. Really great gloves. Perfect for snowboarding and listening to your tunes on the slopes.